All right, hello everybody. Welcome to a game called Simple Rockets 2. So based on the title, you might think we're gonna do something simple today, but that's not the case. We're gonna create an unnecessary contraption and launch that thing into space. So let's jump right in. So the good thing about this game is that it does have a sandbox mode. And as we all know, I should never be given access to this sort of thing. It's like giving a kid that nuclear launch codes is like, you just don't do that. Now, this is the starting rocket right here. And you might think it's a marvel of engineering, but I think it's boring, so we're gonna get rid of some of this stuff. I'm sure, I'm sure the engineers in the comments won't mind. Like, what about this one? It seems completely unnecessary. Let's get rid of that. Three? Only three boosters? That makes a lot of sense. That's actually kind of cool. So these right here are the solar panels. I think you can add as many as you want in the sandbox mode, so <laughs> that makes sense. All right, let's add more fuel tanks. Can I do that? Ooh! check that out oh my god that is completely unnecessary that looks kind of cool though oh yeah i forgot i have a mirror effect here so if i do this look at that titan engine power and efficient engine that uses methalox is there something that is completely inefficient but super powerful? Oh, this one right here, Apex Engine. Is Respawn making engines now? It's heavy, expensive, and drinks RP1 like there's no tomorrow. So, all right. So it's the drunk uncle of the Rocket family. It seems like, oh my god, these things are huge. Hold on, we need more of these. All right, so here's the important part. We're gonna move all of the Apex engines to the stage one, right? So they're all gonna be active at the same time, all right? So that's what we're gonna use to get escape velocity. Then we're gonna use these and there's more rockets in the middle here. All right, so let's move this right here to stage two. So in stage two, we're gonna lose all of these rockets right here. Then stage four, I mean, let's get rid of stage three. Stage four is these little rockets. And stage five is the one in the middle. Stage six is the one at the top. And then we're gonna have all these stuff right here, right? All right, I'm gonna be a good designer and give these guys a parachute because I'm pretty sure this is just gonna crash and burn. And these are the things that I wanted to get rid of, but I guess I'm just gonna give these things to reduce drag is what it does, I guess. So let's do that. $29 million, that's cheap. Oh my God, what just happened? Hold on, can I re- Oh my god, no! Jesus! Something went wrong there. Thank god it didn't explode. Jesus Christ. I think we have an issue here. All right, we're back. Oh, there you go. Oh my god, it's actually working. Holy crap. Oh my god. Okay, they're running out of fuel there. And drop them. Okay, second stage. Please. Hold on, I need to, I need to center this. Oh, it's losing control. Let's do that. All right, I think we fixed it. Oh yes, baby. Let's check out the map. Hold on. How is this going? Oh no, we're gonna crash, dude. We need to change the angle. Change the pitch. Change the pitch, dude. We're too high up. Hold on, let's check the map now. Oh my God, it's still not good enough. It's not even close to being good enough. So the idea here is that the pitch has to be such that the, the angle here goes around the earth. <laughs> And as you guys can see, it's just not, it's not very far away. We're just gonna crash a couple of miles out. Oh no! <laughs> Drop that. Okay, we still have another, I think we have three more rockets, so we might be able to accomplish that, despite my incompetence. I'm not sure if I should be proud about it or sad about it. Let's go to 30 degrees, there you go. Oh, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. Oh, I think we're, we're actually going too far out. Oh. There you go, the final, the final booster here. Oh my God, look at that orbit. That's not what I want. Hold on, pitch down, pitch down. That orbit is not good. That is the worst satellite orbit ever. What the hell? All right, oh, we did it. All right, that's an orbit right there. So that basically means that, oh no, we lost it. We're going out into deep space now. No, oh, that's bad. <laughs> That's not what I had in mind, but okay. This is a disaster, essentially. We just lost 29 million on this thing. Oh, th yes. There you go. Just activate all the panels. Oh my god, this thing's so ugly. This is the ugliest satellite in history. But I think it's... Uh, is it in orbit? 
Hold on, let's check this. Nope. It's going off into deep space. All right. What is this right here? I think that's the moon. Yeah, well, uh, all right. I think this was a very good first attempt. You know, no one ever got it on their first try, you know? Let's give this another try. So I think maybe one of the problems that we had here was lack of rockets, you know? I feel like we don't have enough boosters here. How big can this be? Wait, what? Oh, there's no limit here? There's literally no limit to how big this can be. I love when games give you infinite possibilities. Holy crap, look at that. How many solar panels can we fit in here? Don't worry about it. I'm sure this complies with all safety guidelines. All right, so one of the things that I noticed with our first attempt was that the rocket was spinning for no reason at all. So, well, I'm sure there was a reason, but it was unintended is what I'm trying to say. So I guess maybe if we add some more rockets along this axis, right? Maybe that's gonna help us a little bit. My God, if this makes it into orbit, it's gonna prove that anyone can be a rocket scientist. Let's have some bodies here. I mean, it's never it's never a good video if no one dies. So I'm just gonna place some bodies right there. We must always have some casualties. I mean, I guess this could also serve as some sort of like torture machine, you know, for people who scroll through Reddit and don't upvote the memes that they like. We can just you know, strap them to this thing and launch them into orbit. Now, when I was doing this, I didn't realize that I was gonna have to go through every single one of these solar panels and open them manually. So that's gonna be a bit annoying, but hopefully it'll work. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I don't want this to succeed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you have to be very careful with what you click. And let's remember to reduce the drag here by placing a little thingy right there. Oh my lord! <laughs> oh my god. It's actually working. What the hell? I can't believe it. It is actually working. So the, the trick here is to just launch it very, very fast because otherwise, it's gonna glitch out, but it's working boys. Look at this. I never thought I would see the day But there it is. There it goes. Okay, we're, we're losing. Oh We're losing a little bit of control here. Oh Well Good times. Uh, I think we're approaching earth rapidly here. I don't think there's a lot we can do Oh, yes, we have a tiny little rocket here Maybe this can help a little bit. Oh, yes, it can do something use the panels as Wings, no, it's just 30 million dollars. Don't worry about it. So clearly the problem here is we don't have enough rockets. We don't have enough thrust, you know? Whoever told you size doesn't matter lied to you, all right? And rocket science proves it. So we're gonna add more stuff. Never subtract, always add. That is the number one rule of rocket science. All right, so I think for this one, we're gonna use the Dragon engine. Highly efficient nuclear thermal engine. Warning, do not lick. Do not tell me what to do, all right? Don't tell me what I can and cannot do. That's a reference to Lust. A very good show that represents where I'm at in life right now. Perfect. I think that solves all the issues right there. So we might wanna recover these rockets. So we're gonna add some, some parachutes right there. I think it's gonna be cool, right? And what we could do is um, add the parachutes. There you go. And we'll have one final one up here. Engines, stage one. There you go. Oh boy. Oh boy, do we have liftoff? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, well, I don't think this is going well. No, at least make it off the base. No, make it out of the base. Large yikes. All right, boys. I think, I think this is gonna be the one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's check the map. Oh, <laughs> not sure about this one though. Hold on. Get a nice pitch right there. Yeah, 29. 29 sounds like a good, good angle there. No. Third stage or fifth stage. 
I don't know how many stages these are. All right. If we're going to do this, we're going to have to do this now. Hold on. Let's pause this real quick. Let's open all of them. All right, boys. This is it. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Holy crap. It's so loud. That is so loud. I think we did it, boys. Look at that. Perfection. Now this rocket will survive for thousands of years in out of space using only solar power. Oh, well, that's what would happen if if I was um, actually capable of launching this into space. But in reality, what's going to happen is it's just going to crash in a couple of minutes here. So I tried my best. All right. It's not working anymore. It's falling rapidly. That poor engine is still trying. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Well, if we're gonna go, we're gonna go with a bang. Let's fix this. There it goes. Oh my god. Here it comes, boys. The last 50 million. Oh no. No. There you go. Well, that was a good try. That was a good try. I mean, at least we made it over the atmosphere right like lower orbit we made it there so that's that's a great accomplishment on my book thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye